Hello everyone, my name is Paula Chavez Garcia. I'm a PhD student from the Languages and Culture Program in the University of Cordoba. And first of all, I would like to thank you for listening to this, pre this presentation from all the contributions uh, to this conference. Um, and of course, if you have any questions or you would like me to clarify any of the points, for sure, um, do not hesitate to ask. Um, but well, I wanted to use uh, this presentation in order to offer a review on the practice of voodoo in 18th century uh, New Orleans, um, which is located in Louisiana, one of the southern states. Um, and one of the reasons why I wanted to focus on voodoo in particular is because um, it seems there is a general understanding that occult practices exist outside religion um, or have no connection to it. Um, however, um, while not all occult practices uh, may be connected to more established religions such as Christianism, Judaism, etc., um, it's definitely the case with voodoo. It is very much connected to Christianism, and in fact, it originated uh, from the merging of African uh, religion and folklore plus uh, Christianism. So um, a second reason why I wanted to put the focus on voodoo is because in spite of its connection to Christianism, which at the time was the religion that was imposed upon slaves, um, it still served as a way uh, through which uh, slaves presented opposition to against their oppressor against their oppressors. So lastly, <laughs> apart from its relevance, uh, well, historical relevance, um, voodoo, even though it may not survive in the same way that it existed during the 19th and 20th century, it may not be as, um, as extended, probably as a practice, it is still, um, it is still exists, uh, it is still relevant, especially in New Orleans, um, where it may have evolved um, in the sense that it has received different um, influences and so on. But in New Orleans, it has an important paper uh, or important role in the sense that uh, priests and priestesses use it as, among others, as a way to profit from, to, from uh, tourists. So that in itself is interesting because um, in the past, in the 19th century, 20th century, uh, freed slaves or even uh, current slaves, um, they would use um, like root work, conjure, hoodoo, etc., cetera, um, as a way to gain economical uh, independence or have some sort of support. Um, but that in itself could be a presentation itself. Um, so yeah, when it comes to the development of voodoo, we can trace back its origins to to the integration of the supernatural practices of African religions and folklore of slaves with European culture and the Christian religion of colonizers. And however, by the 19th century, most black people in New Orleans were Christians. Um, as a result of the French occupation, Spanish occupation in the in the territory. So consequently, God, the Christian God, had the highest uh, position in the spiritual hierarchy, so as to say. But then, at the same time, there were many deities that were not Christian, of Christian origin whatsoever even if then they could find their um, their equivalent, right? But still, they were not Christian. Um, on the other hand, when it comes to a spiritual leadership in New Orleans, priestesses or queens were uh, remarkably more numerous than, than male leaders. And um, this fact alone, already shows how voodoo diverged from the patriarchal values of Christianism, where women are not allowed to, to occupy any power positions, really. And uh, 
just to mention, uh, because she is definitely worth studying, um, there is a uh, where there was a priest priestess that was probably one of the most famous and most influential of her time. Uh, it is Marie Laveau. Uh, she lived uh, during the, well, she was a priest um, during the 19th century and she gained such um, influence that she was thought to be able to control the weather and even most importantly, she was thought to be able to control white authority figures such as politicians or the police. Um, so yeah, that really shows how different uh, it is from this patriarchal um, Christian system. So on the other hand, when it comes to the practice of voodoo, uh, priestesses, um, or priests, um, apart from leading the spiritual ceremonies, they will do spells, uh, prepare charms, read the future, etc., for the clientele um, or the clients. Um, and the ministers would achieve positions of power among their peers. Thank you, uh, thanks to this well reputation and economic means. Um, so, from their position of power among their peers, because some of these priests were still slaves. Um, but from this position of power among their peers, they would um, help their clients to, well, in their plans for escaping or sabotaging. And even when there was no escaping involved, but these ministers would still help slaves in the sense of protection so they will sell charms or magic powders that the slaves could put on their masters so the masters would not physically harm them by whipping and so on um another interesting instance is the fact that uh, ministers male or female um would help black people in court cases they would um for instance have the charges of paper and they will uh in paper and they will perform some sort of rituals and so on in order to influence the judge in their decision to favor the black person um in case they were fighting for their freedom or fighting against prison and so on um so there are many uh, other instances that reveal how um, voodoo was used uh, just to really fight the establishment and fight um, this white uh, authority uh, system. So all in all, I hope that this presentation helped to well, give a review of how voodoo worked and because really it is, um, in my opinion, of course, very interesting how um, it intertwines with Christianism, but at the same time, it developed to conform a non-patriarchal religious system and with rituals and spells that intended to free or relieve the black person from, from the oppression of the, of the whites. Um, and of course, I am, um, as possible future lines of investigation, it will be very inter interesting to see how uh, voodoo practices are portrayed in literature, in film, and others. So, yeah, thank you for watching. And um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Bye.